Hello and welcome to a quick tip for Unity and the Odin Inspector. Real quick, if you don't know, I am developing a game called Hyperstrike. Hyperstrike is a space shooter on rails with roguelike and bullet hell elements. If you like that sort of thing and you would like to see more dev tips, please like and subscribe. Alright, if you don't know what the Odin Inspector is, it's a set of tools that allows you to quickly edit your inspector in Unity. Today we are going to use the button feature of the Odin Inspector. Here I have a simple scene with this boss guy. Boss guy has several sub game objects with a component, boss part. I have a controlling script that keeps track of all the boss parts. It would be pretty typical to see code like this in the awake method that gathers all the boss parts. However, you should avoid this if you can, and just set the boss parts in the inspector. You could do this by drag and dropping each part into the list. However, if you have a lot of nested parts, this can get very tedious. When it comes to tasks like this, I like to use the Odin inspector to make my life easier. On the controlling script, we can make a simple method that will get all the parts for us. Then tag it with a button tag, and make sure to reference the Odin Inspector namespace. In the editor, we can now click this button and... All the subparts are filled in the list and we no longer need to search for them at runtime. Wow. Let's say you also wanted to preset the boss HP. You can simply add that to your method, and click the button again to set the HP. Easy. These are just little examples of what you can do. You can add components, remove them, add references, basically anything you can do in code. You can run the code from the inspector and use it to make your workflow much easier. Do you have an Odin inspector hint to share? Let me know in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Thanks!